Speaking of the bridge and that traffic situation, today's the day we've been waiting for 94 days now since the westbound side of the Washington Bridge abruptly shutting down. We will finally get some answers about this situation today. Yeah, let's get over to Erica Ritchie. She's live in East Providence this morning. A lot at stake today, Erica. That's right, Kate, and at 3 o'clock this afternoon, we'll understand a little bit more about what state leaders plan to do to address those structural deficiencies that have plagued the Washington Bridge since it abruptly closed on December 11th. Now, when that happened, uh, the question of how to address that structural integrity has loomed, has hung in the balance. So repair or replace, repair or replace. Those have been the two options that state leaders have been looking into. And this afternoon, we expect to get some answers when the governor, his deputy chief, of staff, the RIDOT director, and representatives from an engineering firm reveal findings from various reports and their plans to address what those findings have shown. It's information that one state senator says those leaders are keeping close to the vest. I really have no idea. I'm hopeful that it'll be the least impactful possible so we can get this done as fast and as safely as possible for the residents of East Bay so that we can get our residents and our businesses back on their feet. Um, but I really have had no pre-warning as to what the plan will be. And for that matter, neither have we. So we're all going to be watching with bated breath at 3 o'clock this afternoon when the governor and the RIDOT director and other state leaders go ahead and make that announcement. At least we'll have some answers. That's the hope. Uh, the state house is where that's going to be. Of course, we're going to be streaming it live on our website, WPRI.com, and taking it live over on WPRI 12 as well. So don't go too far from us later today. That's the latest live in East Providence. Erica Ritchie, 12 News. Speaking of that bridge yeah. and what's going on three months now since the westbound side of the bridge abruptly closed finally today we will find out more at least that's what we're hearing <laughs> about what could happen next yeah so let's get right over to erica ritchie she's live right alongside the bridge in east providence erica we've been waiting for this update for a long time That's right, Kate. The day has arrived. The hour not yet. Three o'clock this afternoon. That's when we're expected to hear from state officials on the uh, update of the structural deficiencies of the Washington Bridge and how they plan to address it. Now, we all know by now that when that bridge abruptly shut down, at least the westbound side on December 11th, it wreaked havoc on the East Bay. Unpredictable traffic gridlock, uh, city streets in East Providence, empty small businesses on the east side, ambulances struggling to transport patients to hospitals and Providence over the bridge. Well, today, today is the day that offers hope to communities that have really borne the brunt of this closure. The vice president of the East Providence City Council says he wants to hear the governor or the RIDOT director lay out the timetable of whatever their plan will be so that the East Bay can stay open for business. We want people to come. We don't want to put a close. East Providence is closed for two years. We don't want to come. Hopefully there's enough solutions that the state will provide us so that people feel comfortable getting in and out. Yeah, so what they're looking for, guys, is really an end in sight. Whatever that might be, they just want to have an idea of how this story might end. We should learn more at 3 o'clock this afternoon. That's when the governor and those state leaders are expected to make that announcement about their plans. Will they repair? Will they replace? At the State House later today is when we'll find out. Of course, we've got you covered. We will be taking that live on WPRI 12, and we'll also be streaming it live on our website, WPRI.com. So stay with us later today. That's the latest live in East Providence. Erica Ritchie, 12 News.